Hey there folks, Dan Fritter with Caliber Magazine. Uh, doing another video here again today, same garage, same heat. Um, I think it's 34 degrees inside the garage according to the thermometer on the wall. And it's about 38 degrees outside. So we're gonna do a bit of a different video. One like this where you guys can't see me sweat because that's better for me. So what we're gonna talk about today is um, the way that we measure groups. So some of you guys might notice from reading the magazine, hopefully you guys do that. Uh, we always print with a lot of our long guns, if it's possible at all. We'll usually do um, an accuracy chart, which we'll find, this is the latest issue right there. Right there. Um, you'll note uh, we have two different kinds of, I don't know if you guys can see it because of the glare, unfortunately, but um, maybe we'll bring the camera down a bit just so you guys can get a better shot. So. Um, you can see that we got two different kinds of groups here. We've got average group MOA and mean radius MOA, obviously MOA meaning minute of angle. So at 100 yards, one minute of angle covers a span of one inch. Um, that's the quick and dirty rule. There's two methods here. We do describe it here in the text, but you guys might not uh, text-based learners, video-based learners. So I thought we'd do a quick demonstration of what these two things mean and why everyone talks about this one and everyone should be talking about this one because this is a much better measurement of accuracy. So a little bit of history between these two. Um, average group MOA, we all know. Everyone's done that one before. It's the quick and dirty. You punch two holes in paper. You measure the distance between those two holes center to center. That's your average group MOA. We're all familiar. We've all done it a million times over. Mean radius MOA is a little bit different though. What it is is when you shoot a group, it's calculating the, again, mean rate, mean meaning average, the average radius, i.e. distance from the center of the group to each shot. So if you take a five shot group, five radiuses from the center of that group to each shot averaged out renders the mean radius. So you can see here, nine millimeter Winchester, uh, trained and defend 147 grain out of this jar J68 bullpup rifle gave us an average group MOA of 6.9 inches. Center to center, the average shot or the total distance was 6.9 inches. The mean radius, however, is a lot less, it's 1.4 inches. That means that this group basically was quite tight and had a few flyers. So the average distance from the center of your point of aim, center of your target, to each shot is about 1.4 inches. So that's why it's a much better method. Now this one has been used a lot because of simplicity and ease. This one is used, typically the, uh, some of the first uses that I found of this one in doing some research is actually the US Army uses this as a better measurement of real world accuracy for the rifles that they're purchasing for the army. Obviously it's a much more difficult one to do and has been in the past, but we'll get into that in a sec. So let's uh, get rid of this magazine and get a target. So here we've got the average target. I think this is a precision cider. It doesn't even matter. It's from Pincher Creek, Alberta. Um, so we're going to do uh, two groups here. Both will measure roughly the same in average MOA, so average distance across. We'll do one here, we'll do one here. Um, but we'll really exaggerate the distance. You'll see. So let's say you take your first shot, it goes here. Your second shot lands here, third shot lands here, fourth shot lands here, and I'm sure you guys can see where I'm going with this. So you've got four shots, all basically two inches apart, and you last shot, say it's a, you get her pretty good, it's a little bit better right there, right? Let's say you take a second gun, different kind of grouping, and you're over here. So let's, uh, let's say your first shot goes here. Your second shot lands dead center. Third shot's right there. Fourth shot's right here. And then let's say your second shot lands somewhere around here, say, right? So a little bit further away. Now, when it comes to measuring these groups, measuring farthest from farthest for average MOA, you know, with this group, and again, this is just a quick and dirty one, so this is all hypothetical, no one measure this. Please don't measure this in real life and prove me wrong, but um, you'll see right here, say you've got a distance of two inches for that group size. So the average MOA on this one is two inches. Over on this side, do the same thing. And you pull it from farthest to farthest, center to center, you measure that. Well, look at that, it looks about the same as that, two inches. So you've got two two inch groups according to the average MOA, the conventional method of measuring groups. But obviously these rifles are not, not at all the equivalent. The average radius on this group, 
you know, if you were to look at and kind of eyeball, where do you think the center is? Somewhere like here or so? So that's your, let's call that the, the center of your target. What mean radius is going to do is it's going to take this measurement here. It's going to take this measurement here. It's going to take this measurement here. That one there. This one there. It's going to take all five of those and it's going to average them out. Now, for the sake of argument, you know, most of these, it's a little bit longer than an inch. It's a little bit less than an inch. Inch. Let's call it one inch. It's an exact, it's kind of the perfect group of every shot is equidistant. They're two inches apart, one inch from the center of the target. This group here, Obviously the center of your targets because this one's gonna throw it off. You got four here. It's probably gonna be somewhere like I guess you got it somewhere like there maybe again. It's all hypothetical. So take it easy Probably actually a bit closer. Let's call it there We'll Make that just bigger. There we go. Your center is huge on this one um, So mean radius is gonna take this distance this distance this distance this distance and then this distance Which is obviously farther. It's gonna average those out, but because you got four shots very close to the center of your target, it's going to weight that average towards the smaller end of the spectrum. So even though this shot is two inches from its farthest right, farthest comparable shot, it's only about an inch away from the center, just like these ones are all an inch. But you've got all these ones that are like a quarter inch, a third, a half, that kind of thing. So the average radius on this one could end up being 0 0.3 inches. So obviously two very different results. That's why if we were to print this in the magazine, you'd see an average radius MO, or an average MOA of two inches. But the mean radius would demonstrate this rifle is actually much more accurate. The way to think about it is that mean average MOA is just telling you the size of group it'll print. Mean radius is telling you how far you can expect the average shot to land from your point of aim. It's a fly buzzing around in the light. It's driving at the wall. So yes, mean radius is the average distance from your point of aim to the impact of the average shot. Now, because of that, every single shot you take while you're measuring mean radius will refine the group. It will tell you how much more accurate the rifle is. So you could add shots. You could add a sixth shot, a seventh shot, an eighth shot, a ninth shot. And all it's going to do is give you more data, and that group could shrink or expand depending on how the rifle's performing. If all of your shots are landing really, really close to the center of the hypothetical center of your target, it's going to shrink that group. Unlike average MOA, every shot can only make your group bigger. The second you land that flyer out here, you're done. You can never shrink that group back up. You could land your next shot here. They're not going to be counted under this system. So this gives you much more resolution, much more reliability, much more accountability. So next time you read the magazine, and you take a look at those charts and you see the average MOA versus mean radius, you know, you can compare those two and it can give you some pretty interesting things to think about. And, you know, if you're doing your own reloading and trying to check your own rifle's performance, you know, I'd strongly suggest going with it. Now, obviously being a slightly more complicated system, how do you figure that out? You have to figure out where the average is. You can't just eyeball it like that. Well, us at the magazine, we use this app called Range Buddy. I mean, let me just clean off that screen for you a little bit, best I can on a day like today when it's basically pure sweat. Um, we use this app called Range Buddy. It's a free app. Uh, we have it on Android. I'm not sure if it's available for iPhone because I don't use iPhones, but um, it's pretty simple. All you do is you take your target picture, just like that. Uh, to start off, you, when you move it with your thumb, you'll get this green crosshair. You put that green crosshair at the intersection of a grid square. You move it to the next grid square. Then you press that button again and you tell it a reference size in inches. Now this is a one inch grid square on this target. So we'll leave it at that. So now it says, okay, there's your one inch. Maybe that glare is bad. How's that any better? Okay. So now it knows that these grid squares are one inch. Now all you need to do is move it over onto your target where you've got bullet holes or our hypothetical Sharpie bullet holes. So we'll be pretty rough with this there, 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 there and there. So you've entered all your bullet holes. Now it knows where all your bullet holes are. It knows how far apart they are because you've entered the grid square reference. You press the post-it number and it puts up this wherever your cursor was when you press the post-it result thing there, it'll tell you. So this says, yeah, it's a you know, 2.04 inch group. So two center to center, but the mean radius is 0 0.94. So I'm pretty close there with that one inch estimate. And this point of impact would tell you if you put a center position, like 
if you put your point of aim, say you're aiming right here, you put that there, it will tell you that your point of impact is a little bit off. So you can take that data and you can enter that into your optic and refine your zero if you need to. Um, so this is a really great tool, makes it super easy. You can log tons of stuff with this. You can tell it what kind of rifle you're using, all these other things. Um, super great app, so I strongly recommend using that. It's what we use at the magazine. Makes everything a lot easier. So um, there you have it though, the difference between uh, average MOA and mean radius. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm really enjoying making these videos, so a bit of a learning curve still, obviously. Um, hopefully uh, we'll keep it up though and, and keep this ball rolling. But we uh, won't do anything over the weekend, so uh, hopefully we'll have something for you on Monday though. So have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe. Um, hopefully you get some shooting in. And again, yeah, Dan for Caliber Magazine. Talk to you guys later.